In today's video, we're going to show you how much it costs to walk Camino de Santiago in 2023. Good morning, everyone. Another day on the road. We just woke up, got ready, packed up our things, and now we're checking out of the Albergue. We had breakfast included. It was 18 euros a night, but it was a really immaculate, really clean stay. Breakfast was nice. We had three coffees. Kind of was needed today, so that was really nice. And now we are ready to go. Yes, we are. We're just leaving now. We're walking through the town of Abadin. Today we're walking 21 kilometers to Vilalaba. And in our experience with albergues, you really get what you pay for. So we could have taken the eight euro municipality albergue, so the public albergue, but for 18 euros, we got a really enjoyable stay. I got a good night's sleep and again, free breakfast, clean showers, clean sheets, everything. So, I mean, it's your money, it's your budget to each their own, but for us, it's totally worthwhile to splurge just a bit. It's still affordable, but it really increases the comfort quite a bit. Today should be an easier day with only 21 kilometers and it's only a one out of three on the difficulty scale, which is really appreciated. The past two days were 29 kilometers and then 27 and some change kilometers. And they were both three out of three on the difficulty scale with lots of elevation gain throughout the day. So today feels like a nice little break. To be honest, we could really use it. We're halfway through the day, actually, 10 kilometers in. And the reason why we're just checking in now is because we have had so many interactions with other pilgrims today. We haven't gotten them on camera, just being in the moment, talking with other people, but it's been nonstop meeting people, talking, sharing stories, sharing experiences on the Camino, getting really deep, to be honest, talking about our reasons for walking and our plans for the future and where we're from and how the Camino has changed us and our, like the meaning of life. Like it's been a really interesting day. You meet so many characters on the Camino. I have to say some are strange, some are normal, but they're all wonderful interactions. And it just shows that even if you walk alone, you will never be alone. Because You're never there is alone. always other pilgrims there's always someone. We actually talked to two girls who met in Santander. They're from totally different countries. They arrive on their own. But they kept meeting in the albergues like three, four times. And they just said, okay, we're, we're like clicking. Let's walk together. Yeah. And for the past 20 days or something, they're walking together. Yeah. It just goes to show that you'll never be alone. You always find someone to talk to someone to share a meal with or something like that but you'll always have company and yeah even you from Bosnia just met someone from Croatia that yeah, speaks, <laughs> speaks your Balkan tongue so first it's... time that I spoke in Bosnian on the trail yeah. I mean I would spoke to Ellie and teach her some thing or two but never like a normal conversation and we also met someone who recognized us. Yes! So. Oh, how exciting! We got recognized for the first time ever. That was awesome. That really gave us a little boost. We turned around and they were like, Oh, we watched your videos. So that was awesome. Obviously, we're just starting out on YouTube and excited for what the future holds. But we appreciate every single one of you who watches and to meet someone in real life that actually watched us online is kind of a crazy thought for us still we're we're just starting out so that was really neat and so far we spent zero euros because we've just we had a free breakfast had some coffees 
and we've just been walking yeah. the whole day. Ooh. So, so far, zero cost. So, we're just walking along the way. We're hoping actually to get a menu del dia for lunch. So we're not gonna make any big lunch breaks yet. Not until we arrive to our final destination, but we did pack just a little jam sandwich at the albergue. So again, this is free included in breakfast. I don't know if that's, you know, legal or allowed per se, but if breakfast is included, you can normally grab a little snack for the road. And in our defense, we already toasted it, mm -hmm. but our stomach didn't feel like it. So instead of throwing away the bread, because no one else would use it, let's, mm -hmm. let's face it, it was already toasted, so we didn't want to throw it. So we just put a little jam and a little butter in it. So just mm -hmm. reusing the things we would all, we would eat anyway, so. Yeah, and it's perfect. We talked a lot today with different kinds of people. And I must say this, everyone is following the guidebook they have, the arrows they have, and everyone is, oh, I'll have a rest here, I'll walk this today, I'll walk this way, i walk this way. So everyone on the Camino has their own Camino. So you walk it how you want and you make it your personal. So don't let anyone say differently. It's your life your Camino, you came here with your own purpose, yes. with your own reasons. So just walk, enjoy, make your own pace, go out of the way if you want, stop wherever you want. Don't let anyone else put something in front of you that you don't want it. Thank you so much for your offer, but I'm doing it differently than you. So respect me, respect my wishes and my request. And that's it, and you'll be perfectly fine. That's all. Everyone has their own Camino. Everyone walks their own. There is no one Camino. If you are on your way... Make it your way. It's your way. Daldia, 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 Daldia. I guess you really need something to push you through the day. For us, at this moment, that is Menu del Dia. We have officially entered Villalba. Now it's race against clock. We are racing for Menu del Dia. Ellie is in huge pains, but she'll do anything so for pain. Menu del Dia at this moment. <laughs> it's the only thing keeping me going. Ah. I have to update you that we did made it, actually. And it was only 12 euros per person. And again, so much included. First course, second course, dessert, a bottle of wine, a bottle of water. We'll show you guys how it is, but it's a nice local spot. You can tell it's packed with real local, so you know you found a hidden gem. I got the mixed salad, tuna, dried meat here, and Senshi got the calamari. We've been wanting to try it. Yeah, we've been dying to try some squid in Spain. Bon appetit! Mm. Oh, that's, yeah. that's a really good salad. Robbery once again. Score! All right, next up we have some ribs and I have a full steak for the second course and some more fries and oh my goodness, so much food. Such good value for your money. And this is Tarta de Santiago. And finally, last but not least, we each got coffee to finish off the meal. We are staying in uh, Caraballera, an albergue for 14 euros a night. It's a private one. It looks really nice. According to reviews, it has a privacy, it's really clean. It has a common area, kitchen, so we're gonna check it out.
And this is the bathroom. I have to say, the whole place is very nice. Seems like almost luxurious. Very clean, kind of fancy. Nice. Okay, beds are made with these sheets and our sleep liner. Comfy. Want to be? Welcome to my crib. This feels very nice. It's like you're in a capsule. I saw those in Japan. You can have like a capsule hotel. So this is like. Uh huh. Put this on. It feels like you're in a capsule. You have a really nice light here. I don't know if you want to read or whatnot. You have a stand right here. And you just close it. Good night, Sanchi. Good night. See you tomorrow. Ready? All ready. Back and ready. Let's do it. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, thank you very Bye. much. Have a good one. Okay, so they also offer breakfast. It's not included in the price, but you can get a coffee, you can get a toast, you can get a sandwich. We only had coffees for Euro 50 each. You can get sandwich for 2 and 50, cake for a Euro 50 as well. So do with that what you want. Right now we are hitting the way, hitting the road. We have 27, 28 kilometers today, and it is actually day 30. Yeah, we came a long wow. way. Feels like yesterday it was day one, starting in San Sebastian, and now we're already on day 30. Crazy how the time goes when you're having fun. That's basically what you can expect for a private albergue somewhere in the range of 14 euros. If you're on a tighter budget, you can go to a public albergue, uh, municipal ran albergue is how they're called here. And that would probably charge you somewhere around eight euros. So you would save a couple bucks, but in our experience for that marginal price difference, you get a whole lot more of a comfortable stay. Yeah, there's different accommodation types on the Camino. Albergues are really common, and then pensions are another really common one, so we wanted to show you guys that side of things as well. And also, we wanted to show you a couple different ways to eat. So, last night we had Menu Del Dia, we went grocery shopping, and today we're actually having a dinner provided by the pension host, which is another thing that's common. Albergue host or pension host will cook you dinner for, tonight is for 10 euros. So we'll show you what that is like as well. We are 10 kilometers in, just outside of Ponte de Sa, which is the only real town, you could say, between Villalba and Bamonde. And we stopped here at Casa Alejandro. It's a really nice, again, like a local place, cafe, bar, restaurant, and if you're not getting bocadillos in Spain, you're missing out. Senshi got a bocadillo with chorizo. It came like that, I don't know, why is it missing a bite? Yeah. <laughs> but it's a real chorizo. Oh yes. Look at that. So this is our lunch stop for the day. Bocadillos are another really smart way to eat on the Camino. This sandwich of his is obviously really big. It's really hearty, kind of simple, but gets you through a long day of walking. It's just some carbs, some protein, just what you need. And that was three euros and 50 cents. I, on the other hand, went for a tostada, which was only two euros and 50 cents. And it has jamon y queso, ham and cheese, but prosciutto. it's more like prosciutto and mm -hmm. it's like olive oil. It's very nice. Ooh, and it's warm. It's really warm. And again, 250. So and it's really, really fast. We ordered and we got it in literally three minutes. So you don't lose time and make a big breaks. Have it quickly, hit the road. There's an arrow waiting for us instantly there. Whoop. Yeah, so Bocadillo's a great way to snack, have a quick breakfast, have a quick lunch on the Camino. Oh, 
Okay, 18 kilometers in, we made it to the town of Bamonde. We're taking shelter right now in a bus stop because it's really windy today. We wanna actually talk to you guys, but this is a pretty significant checkpoint because we actually officially have only 100 kilometers left to Santiago, right here in this exact spot, 100.4 kilometers left. It's, it's really surreal. I don't know what to make of it yet, to be quite honest. But keep in mind, going out of Pamonde, you can go through this main square and either take a right or take a left. The right way is the official way, main way, and the left way is the complimentary uh, way that is another kilometer longer. I'm not sure what's up with that one. We're going the official way. 99 kilometers and 994 meters. They really, guys? Couldn't move this. Six meters. <laughs> six, only six meters there. Like how? And instead, we got a pile of rocks. Come on. Maybe if we took the complimentary way, there would be some a shrine. Or a shrine. <laughs> but we will take it. We worked hard for this, so we will still celebrate our accomplishments by walking another nine kilometers to our final destination of the day. Yes, Let's sir. Continue it on. 703 down, 100 to go. Let's do this thing. We are nearly at our final destination of the day, which is in Caraballero. It's a very small town. I don't know if you could call it a town. It's actually a pension in the middle of the forest. The reviews say it's a very peaceful location and it looks like some sort of eco garden experience day, agro-tourism type of thing. So we're excited to see what it's like, but we showed you the albergue last night. And again, now it's time to see what pensions are like on the Camino del Norte. To mention the price again, it was 60 euros a night for the two of us, 30 a person, which is a little steep. Pensions, I can say, on the Camino del Norte range anywhere from 30 to 90 euros. So this is somewhere in the middle. Again, we're in a really remote location, so it's pretty much the only option at this stage of the trail. But for that 60 euros, you also get breakfast included, and they also cook dinner for an additional cost of 10 euros a person. So we're excited to see what that will be like. And to mention the name, it is called Waitericus. Waitericus. It is definitely a peaceful location. Ooh, so many cats. Oh yeah, we saw in the reviews there's like 20 cats. Oh my god, there's so many. Hi everyone. Hi. These are the lovely cats. That is the lovely host there. She asked us for a dinner and that's her garden right there. So she's just picking some things from the garden for us. That is absolutely amazing. And Ellie's gonna give us a tour. Time we for are the tour. still in a wow factor. Yes. Of course, a little shell stays as always. Yes. We didn't have any pictures on Google Maps or whatever because it had recently been changed from an albergue to an apartment instead. And it's really nice. We're really surprised and pleasantly, happily surprised. Really homey, tons of knickknacks. This is the bathroom. Everything feels really clean. These beds are really comfortable. There's extra blankets, some books, hangers. And then the kitchen is fully equipped over here. We unfortunately don't have anything to cook, but a really nice space if you had something. And they actually left us the breakfast for tomorrow. You can tell they put a lot of care into it. It's really clean. And again, the host is really welcoming. It feels more, it's more like an authentic living experience. We walked in to their actual home to like check in to the pension. It's really just this one. So it's not like they've run some big operation. It's like we're coming into their home. There was an old Spanish couple. We walked in, they're like, Oh, how buenas tardes, like, somos españoles, like, asking us questions. So, 
We love these kind of experiences where we get to really feel what it's like to live some local life here. And we're going to show you next what's on the menu for dinner. It's going to be a surprise to us too, so let's <laughs> find out. <laughs> Ta-da! This is the dinner, perfectly organized by them, served by them. They just brought everything into our little home. They placed everything. Here's a little bit of bread. Here, I am not sure what is this. Like a soup or? It looks like a soup. Or a mashed But something? it's like thick something. It is looks perfect. very nice. This is also like a... Another, like a chorba. Like a chorba, like a thick soup with some meat and vegetables from their own garden. <coughs> they pour us two glasses of wine and they brought us dessert. These are the puddings, two puddings. And believe it or not, these are the strawberries from their own garden. The, the first of the season, they said. First of the season. It's like room service. It was 10 euros a person, but if you include a really big meal, wine, dessert, fruit, and brought right into your little pension room, apartment, whatever you want to call it, it's like room service. So we feel like, honestly, it's a really good deal and we're having a really enjoyable night. Could not recommend it more. So we're gonna sit down, eat, relax, and... Bon appetit! Here's the night with some... Oh, that looks very nice. Mmm, -hmm. Just the carb we need. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, hey, mama. Good? Muy bien. Muy bien. Please, my love. And for everyone else, we will see you in the morning. Okay, good morning everyone. How are you doing today? Because we are doing very, very nice. We're just checking out. It's nine in the morning. I know late, but we had a such a comfortable stay. I literally passed out 9.30 last night. We started watching some show or whatnot. I just passed out to be honest. Once again, we would highly recommend this. It was a really pleasant experience. It was a bit pricey, 60 euros for, for Camino conditions. But we just wanted to show you guys how the pensions look and homemade dinner. We enjoyed that so much. We really needed that after so much dry food. We needed something on the spoon and like warm and really nice. And I must say, it was so comfortable sleeping there. Everything was tinted dark. We didn't wake up at all. So we're just checking out and we're embarking on day 31 today. And on 31 day, we have 31 kilometers to walk. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> Coincidence? I don't know. Yesterday we showed you Albergate, tonight we show you Pension. Last night we showed you Pension. And tonight we have a hotel room. Just so you can see how everything is and what all the prices and conditions are. So bear with us for the last day on this video. Okay, first stop in the day, three and a half kilometers in. This is the first thing we saw open. So breakfast wasn't enough so we wanted some more we got this omelet for three euros each and the coffees were euro 50 each and it's in Albuquerque Alagoa you can actually stay here they have a bar they have a supermarket as well again it is a little remote remote place around here so there's no a lot of things open so you want to grab it when you have the chance Simple menu, but yeah, simple is good. Oh, just casually 
trying to cross the road and there's a ton of sheep. Hola. Hola, Hola buenas. Oh. Uh -huh. oh my god, look at him. Oh my god. Huh? Hola. Hola, beautiful. Hi. Look at them. <laughs> Casual. Casual? Just a... It's their landscape. It's their land, so we're gonna let them pass first. They have the right of way. They have the right, because <laughs> it's there. This is what a Camino roadblock looks like. And again, the landscape changed all the time. It's amazing. Hello, hello! Long time no see. We just wanted to share a little checkpoint with you guys. We are 26 kilometers in in Maison. To describe a little environment, we got some shots, of course, we show you that. But the landscape stays the same. It's a straight path. Then you have to walk by the road for three, four kilometers as well. Mm -hmm. It was mostly really remote. So there weren't a whole lot of checkpoints, not much to see. And also keep in mind, there's no water along the way, except for the very occasional bar cafe. So stock up when you can. But other than that, you didn't miss out on a whole lot. And we only have five more kilometers to go. And to mention these were 190 each. Uh-huh. Because we really needed refreshment. We were so thirsty, we ran out of water once again. This is the monastery in Sobrado. You can see it's absolutely magnificent. It's ginormous. There's an albergue inside there, and of course, a church. Just beautiful, really. Something to witness when you visit on your Camino, for sure. Hotel. The price for tonight's room is 55 euros. Mm -hmm. Smells good. Where do we start? Please. Okay. The so TV is really simple hotel room, but looks really nice, really clean. The best part is it has a view of the monastery. Amazing. And all this nature to be seen as well. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, really clean. Big shower, oh, big nice. bathroom. We are well, pleased. We will see you later. Yes, we need it. So this is pretty much what you can expect from a hotel on the Camino del Norte. 55 euros. It's honestly not the most budget option, which we understand, but it's quality. Sometimes on the Camino, you'll see pensions that don't look as nice for the same price. So it's up to you. You got to make those cost benefit analyses sometimes. And for us, this is totally worth it. Nice view, really clean place. We're going to enjoy. And right now we're going to the grocery store to show you guys another side of cooking and eating and how much that costs on the Camino. Okay, so for dinner, we grabbed some noodles and a ton of other goodies at the grocery store. Some chips, some salsa, breakfast for tomorrow, dessert for tonight. And the total came out to 16 euros, eight euros a person. So this just shows you how you can find a balance, I guess. If you have a more expensive accommodation, you could always cook a cheaper meal. Sometimes we do cook more um, complex, meals, more legit meals. This is obviously pretty simple, pretty out of budget, um, but there's no kitchen here. So it really just depends on the accommodation that we have. Tonight, this is what we're working with. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed days 29 through 31 of how much it costs to walk the Camino del Norte. We tried to show you what an albergue is like, a pension, and now a hotel. 
And keep in mind, you could make this cost lower if you stay in all L brigades. We just wanted to show you all the options out there. And in fact, sometimes I'm sure you will stay in a pension or a hotel on the Camino del Norte. Either you'll be tired and you'll just want a break for a night from L brigades or Albergues might be booked up. We have other videos on how to handle accommodation things on the Norte, but we wanted to show you everything, and I think we have. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you next time.